Hey guys, this is Peter Grunwald and yours and you're watching my foam diary. Okay guys, I have watched The Forger. It is the latest John Travolta film that came out in 2014 but was uh, released wider in 2015. That's why I'm re reviewing it now. Uh, it is a heist film. And I unfortunately have to say it's quite a quite a boring film. Uh, the character John Travolta plays uh, Raymond is extremely uninteresting. He had a very interesting past, but he's a very boring, blunt person. He doesn't seem to enjoy uh, anything he does. The film starts off where the film starts off where he gets himself out of jail with a favor from a art dealer or a mafia boss. It's not very clear. Um, to see his son that it is currently dying of cancer. With him getting out he owes a favor and here he has to repaint a famous painting that I don't even remember. Try to bond with his son and uh, get his uh, son's wishes fulfilled. Uh, not much happens further in the film. Poli he, he, tries to work, he tries to work with police to get uh, the main guy, uh, the main mafia boss uh, caught. His father is Christopher Plummer but that also doesn't make any sense and he's been in the business. Uh, the film was very dreary, very slow. Um, they took uh, interesting possibilities and made it very boring. They tried to put depth into it, they did not succeed. Um, no story arc of any type was seen here. Sorry. The only interesting thing of this entire film that did come through is one of his son's wishes was to uh, not to die a virgin. And with that, he organizes that his 16-year-old 16, 16 son sleeps with a prostitute, but failed, didn't get to sleep with the prostitute. Uh, sorry for the spoilers, but that's the only interesting thing that happens. The rest is predictable. You know what's going to happen. You feel a bit bored in the film. Um, I won't recommend watching this film ever, even if you're a John Travolta fan. He's just... Bland and boring. He, no, he did this for a paycheck and that's it. He came in, he's like, yeah, why not? It doesn't feel like he did any effort. He's a great actor, but it didn't show at all here. Christopher, Christopher Plummer, I have so much respect for that actor, but again, didn't do anything here. The child actor, whose name I cannot pronounce, it's Ty Suryadin. I've seen him in a few things, but with same with this, not impressed. Um, yeah, this is a film you can completely skip. I was completely bored with this film. Uh, it wasn't atrocious in the sense it's comical or that uh, you would like to say, watch this, it's good. Oh, it's good in the sense it's worse. But it's just, it's boring. It bores you to death. And for this, I'd rather recommend uh, watching Fifty Shades of Grey than this. Okay. okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please comment down below and tell me how I improve my channel. Thanks.